Singapore Armed Forces is often described as a modern and sophisticated fighting force. But what enables it to go faster, fly higher, see further, and pack a bigger punch? The answer is a community of game changers who are masters in adapting, modifying, and upgrading what the SAF can buy to better suit its needs and requirements. They are the defence technology community, scientists and engineers who are always on the lookout for better ways to sharpen the cutting edge of Singapore's national security. This chunk of transparent material is ballistic glass or bulletproof glass, commonly used by military defence or private security. It's thick and it's heavy in order to stop a bullet. A bullet is slowed down by the amount of material that is stopping it, so it's true resistance. So that's why the armour glass needs to be thick. DSO National Laboratories produce something better, a transparent ceramic armour. By convention, ceramics are opaque. So the challenge is really how to process the material to make it into, to get the optical clarity. Basically, after the raw materials are mixed homogeneously, we will actually dry it. After that, we actually um, compact it into the required shape. Then it will undergo a few cycles of heat treatment to form this, which is still opaque. What follows is actually a post-processing, whereby we actually grind and then polish it to get what we have here. At less than 10 millimetres thick, it can withstand a typical high-caliber round fired at close range. Because it's very thin compared to a very thick layer of bulletproof glass, you can save weight for the same level of protection. Drivers who drive for a prolonged period of time doesn't need to look through a very thick layer of glass. So for a driver, you don't feel dizzy and nauseous. It's what we call an aquarium effect. Armoured glass or bulletproof glass fractures in a way like a spider web. So the area of the shattering is much larger. You can see that the spalling or the damage is actually very localised. If I were to shift this around, you can see there are portions of this panel that allows light to go through. So for a driver, it's advantageous if you're driving to safety, you can still see through those, past those areas that do not have the damage. In comparison, for this glass, you can see that none of the light actually goes through. For the driver, it's actually driving blind. It's definitely not easy. We have to overcome many, many um, challenges and obstacles. What we, we hope to achieve is a reach actually to have our R&D transit into something that is useful for our national defence. Many times, setbacks and failures are daily routine, yeah, and you cannot give up. You, you need to have uh, patience, uh, determination and perseverance. So if you meet a setback or failure, you need to pick yourself up, dust off and continue to soldier on till you reach your final goal. Yeah.